I don't know why I'm shocked that all this happened because this has fallen almost perfectly into the media and the far left's playbook letter for letter and yet I'm still shocked at just how far they're willing to take it. The, the lies, the slander, the claims of victimhood, just the attempts to get everyone and everything to bow down to their whims is insulting and mind-numbing, though what's even worse is the fact that it's fucking working. A little shit stain from Vox decided that he was going to take full advantage of the fact that it was Pride Month and complain to Big Daddy YouTube that, Oh, someone said mean words to me. And that's exactly what it sounds like. Tweet after tweet after tweet. And there are hundreds of them at this point are just this little brat whining and crying to YouTube that someone said bad things and they should be banned because I'm a special little snowflake and should never be insulted. And I'm glad that I waited a few days before I said anything. Because as people have looked into this more and more, it turns out that this piece of garbage did this at the behest of Vox's union because he was, they didn't think that he would be thrown to the wolves because gay oppression. They thought, and unfortunately YouTube decided to cater exactly to this, that if they complained, that they could get YouTube basically to shit itself and somehow that would give them a larger bargaining chip so that they could get a pay raise. I'm not even kidding. This is all over a fucking pay raise. This... It, by the way, this is a man who was insulted that he is called gay in a derogatory manner when his own Twitter, personal Twitter handle is gay wonk. And he's insulted that someone dares to call him queer when he himself calls himself queer basically every other tweet. This is a man who says that he has had violence enacted on him by these horrible things that have been said about him when he told people to throw milkshakes in the face of everyone he doesn't like. So fuck this piece of shit. He's a hypocritical little douche nozzle, among other words I could use. And this is obviously all part on Vox's union to try and strengthen their bargaining position somehow. I still haven't figured out how, but there are fucking emails and messages going around that show these people talking to each other on fucking Twitter because apparently they're so stupid they think Twitter is private. Where they would do exactly this. Unfortunately, what happened next is so predictable, it's unbelievable. After, after YouTube bent the knee and gave these dipshits exactly what they wanted, which wasn't good enough, by the way, because it never is, the rest of the media, the entirety of organized media as we know it, has now come after YouTube and are trying to get everyone and everything banned to the point where I think that they're trying to shut YouTube down, period. Everyone that has ever talked about politics is now alt-right. Everyone that hasn't sucked the cock of Karl Marx is alt-right or extreme-right or far-right or whatever the fuck they, they keep saying. 
it's it's very obvious the plays that are going on here. And YouTube is catering to these people every fucking time. Don't tell me that the the social justice left does not have any political power because they their their person is not president right now. Because that is fucking bullshit. Look at what they're doing right now. Look at how much power and control they have. Just one person complaining was enough to get YouTube to bow down and suck his dick. Are you fucking kidding me? And yet these people claim that they are the oppressed and they are the ones without a voice and that they are the ones who have absolutely no power in anything at all. Bullshit. I... I have been one of the few people that have said that we do need an organized media as a society, that I, I want to see the media reform, not be destroyed. I've been one of the few people on their side, so to speak, in that I want them to live from a business standpoint. I'm not saying kill people. But nope, I'm done. This, this is the last straw. You, you fuckers want to destroy YouTube this bad because you're afraid of competition? Well, I will not shed a single tear when you fall to your eventual doom. And I hope that this speeds it the fuck up. I am tired of every fucking time you smell one drop of blood in the water, you vultures come out and say that Everyone, everywhere is alt-right. Because they don't suck your dick, Karl Marx's... They don't eat Karl Marx, uh, Marx's ass. I don't know what it is anymore. But basically because they don't, you don't agree with the media, you are alt-right. And I, I've had enough of it. I have reached my final straw. And I just hope that the media industry crashes and burn. I hope that Vox, in particular, every single member of their union, I hope that they are unemployable for the rest of their lives. I hope that they will have this stigma follow them around so strongly that they can't even get a job flipping burgers. I want to see all of the media crash and burn at this point. But in particular, I will love when Fox is destroyed and there is not a single shred of evidence left on the internet that they ever existed. Yeah, I'm pissed. This has been Map Machine saying, fuck Vox and fuck the media. I hope these fuckers just sit on and spin.